Hello learners, welcome back on this part 2 of heme metabolism. Part 2, uh, I will be talking about the regulation of allosynthase 1 enzyme. The allosynthase 1 enzyme, as I have told you in part 1 of this heme metabolism video, where uh, this allosynthase 1 is acting as a rate limiting enzyme, it's dependent on B6, vitamin B6. I further explain you how this ala synthase 1 enzyme is under regulation by various factors. So we have positive regulators, we have negative regulators for allosynthase 1 enzyme, the heme, the hematin and importantly the carbohydrate, especially the glucose is acting as an inhibitor for allosynthase 1 enzyme. And when we talk about the activation of allosynthase 1 enzyme, we have barbiturates, barbiturates, alcohol, chrysofulvin, and anticonvulsants. Convulsants, anticonvulsants. So we have barbiturates, anticonvulsants, alcohol or ethanol, and grasofulvin, which are acting as a positive regulator for allosynthase 1 enzyme. When we talk about the regulation of heme on allosynthase 1, it's not a direct negative allosteric effector, though it's not it's having some impact, but it's not a very strong negative allosteric factor. It's having a different impact. It's uh, you know going at the gene level and it's somehow repress involved in the repression of the gene of allosynthase 1 enzyme. So let's talk about that. So heme actually if the heme is there, it combines with aporepressor. Aporepressor is a protein and it combines with this to form you a complete molecule that's called a repressor. Now this repressor go to DNA where the gene for allosynthase 1 enzyme is present. This is allosynthase 1 gene. This repressor molecule which is produced, suppose this is the repressor, it binds the DNA and represses the gene. Represses the gene doesn't allow it to express, doesn't allow the allosynthase 1 enzyme to be formed. And so whenever the repressor protein is binding the DNA, this is repressor protein, it's binding the DNA. We do not have formation of allosynthase 1 enzyme and we do not have formation of heme. So this is very easy to understand that whenever already heme is there, it produces repressor and that repressor doesn't allow the further heme synthesis to go on in the liver. So this is repression derepression mechanism by which the heme synthesis is getting controlled in the hepatocyte. I repeat once again, by default the allosynthase gene is under repression by repressor molecule and for making of repressor you need to have heme. Whenever heme is not there, then what happens? The repressor is not there. There occurs derepression and there occurs the induction of the gene allosynthase 1 which starts producing allosynthase 1 enzyme and that runs the show that you know produces heme. So whenever there is no heme, the heme is produced and whenever there is heme, there is formation of repressor and the repression of the gene. So it is, a, you know, that kind of regulation where gene is regulated by repression, derepression mechanism. By default, allosynthase 1 gene is under repression and in presence of heme, it is under repression and in absence of heme, there is no repressor and there is derepression. So this is a kind of regulation which is very, very important for you to understand. And when we talk about hematin, this is a direct negative allosteric factor for allosynthase 1. And whenever we talk about glucose, it creates a complex which is known as uh, CRP, that is carbohydrate repressor protein. It's a carbohydrate repressor protein which does the same thing 
carbohydrate represses the protein which does the same thing that is it goes and represses the enzyme that is why the carbohydrate glucose infusion is given in acute episodes of porphyria porphyria is where a lot of intermediates of heme biosynthesis are accumulated because of blockage somewhere in the pathway so if a patient is pre presenting with acute episode of porphyria there is the treatment guideline is infusion of glucose so what that glucose is going to do it's going to repress the ala synthase 1 gene does not allow the ala synthase 1 enzyme to be formed and so the intermediate accumulation is reduced so this you must know about this control thank you very much